costume. Welcome back. Uh, this is my channel. I'm Erin, the Two Martini Stitcher, both here and on Instagram. And if this is your first time stumbling on uh, to, to us, our little group here, this is a channel about cross stitch. I will, you know, chat a little bit about life stuff going on because it's been a nutty week. And um, then I'm going to show some cross stitch projects and some cross stitch supplies and give away some cross stitch stuff. So if you're into that, you're in the right place. And if you're not, maybe, I don't know, hang out. See if you want to get involved in cross stitch. It's a pretty fun community. Um, Speaking of that, I think I'm going to start with shout outs since I mentioned what a great community it is because I did get to watch a couple new floss tube, uh, floss tubers this past week and I have a few more queued up to check out. So I'll probably have some shout outs next week, but this week, because I must have asked about what floss tube people you watch because quite a few people gave me suggestions, which I love because I love finding new people to watch. Um, so I got quite a few suggestions. So I have some new folks queued up to watch and I did check out a couple new people this week. Um, mm, I have my Disneyland mug because I really wish I was in Disneyland today. Um, it's just coffee today because it's a little early. I'm filming a little early. I wasn't even sure what was gonna happen today to be honest. It's been a nutty day, but it's a little early because I have Bunko tonight. And you guys know what that means. It means hanging out, chatting, a little wine with the ladies. So um, I'm gonna save my beverage intake for later this evening. And also, I'm tired, man. I'm tired and I needed coffee. The gray has definitely settled in in the Pacific Northwest. And I'm feeling it. I'm very tired. It might be time to get out my go light. Um, if any of you in the Pacific Northwest, I don't really, I don't suffer from sad, but I do find it. I have an energy dip when the gray settles in and I actually love it. I love this weather. Not gonna lie. I, I like the Pacific Northwest in the winter, uh, but it does sometimes get me a little tired. And I do find that a blue light, a little go light, it helps a lot to lift the spirits and give me a little pep in the step, just 10 minutes in the morning while I'm like reading the paper, having breakfast. That and copious amounts of coffee. There's a reason we're the home of Starbucks. So sorry guys, I have a hair. Oh, I was doing shout outs. Holy moly, I'm already like off track. Okay, the two new people I watched this week. The first, and I don't know where I've been because she comments regularly and we chat back and forth all the time. How I miss she had a floss tube, Janet Jabber. I, she has five videos. I binged them all in like a day and a half. Um, she is an absolute doll. You should go check her out. She's been stitching forever. And so she fun, shows old like finishes of hers that are really fun to see. And I just, I love seeing that because I was a very sporadic stitcher and really only recently would say that I'm a stitcher. So I have not been stitching for years and years and years other than my girl stockings. So it's really fun to watch someone and see all the like the projects that they've had from years past. So, and she's just a delight and another Midwest girl. Love the Midwest girls. Yay, I'll be headed back to Indiana next weekend. Next weekend? Mm, I think it's next weekend. Where is the month going, people? I didn't even say it. It is Wednesday, October 16th. Wednesday, October 16th, middle of month. October's half over. I was at my daughter's orthodontist appointment yesterday and they said, okay, we'll see her back in 10 weeks. That's Christmas, people. 10 weeks. <laughs> I can't. I need to start Christmas stitching. I better get moving on that. I mean, not that I'm gonna have anything done, but I should maybe at least start some Christmas stitching, don't we think? Okay, and then the uh, second floss tube, uh, new floss tube channel I started watching this week was, wait, I wanna make sure I get it right, Stitch Crafts with George. Um, she's a UK stitcher and a total delight. 
absolute delight. I've only gotten to watch one um, of their videos, but I'm, I have all the rest of them in my watch list because I want to check them all out. So Janet Jabber, Stitchcraft with George, check them out. Super fun. Uh, I enjoyed both of them very much. So there we go. And did you guys see I have something else on my wall? I actually hung something up. And this is a previous finish that you guys have not seen. I'm going to take it down. Hold on. Do, do, do. This was a previous finish in that I think I finished this in like March I or April. I finished this. I don't think I've ever shown this on a floss tube, which I started in April. Did I start in April, guys? That sounds right. End of April, maybe. Beginning of May? Somewhere around there. I know that I did work on this, though, for School of Magical Stitches homework when I first started, and I started that in March. So I finished this sometime in March or April, but never FFO'd it because I didn't know what I was going to do with it. But now I have this blank wall, and I think this is where all of my, like, stuff that the rest of the family is not going to appreciate, all of the stitching about stitching, the friends collage sampler will go up here. Um, but this is, if you guys, do you guys know what TV show this is? It's How I Met Your Mother. And it says, whenever I'm sad, I stop being sad and be awesome instead. That's my motto. <laughs> No, feel your feelings, that's fine. But also just be awesome. So, and that's a Barney quote. So there's Barney. Robin, Barney, uh, Ted. Whole gang, little yellow umbrellas. So, and then I just, I finished it in this hoop. I got these oval hoops um, from Amazon. And they came in like a three pack. I did one of these that was Brooklyn Nine-Nine for my oldest daughter and charted her favorite quote from the show, um, which actually I think is the cover, <laughs> that's a bit, I think it's the cover photo of my channel. <laughs> like, like that means that you can see it, right? So I think it's the cover photo of my channel uh, because it talks about if you're with the right people, then everything is gonna be okay. So uh, I had bought the hoops for that and it came in like a three pack. And then I just did some felt on the back. Yes, I once again had to watch a tutorial on blanket stitch. Because every, every time, guys, it only been a couple weeks, but I still couldn't remember how to do it. I mean, I just need that quick. I'll actually link below the tutorial I watch every time because it's super fast and it's like only a couple minutes. Like she's really just showing on joining two pieces of fabric. And so you don't have to watch a big like intro or anything. It's just... I can just shoot, fast forward. It's a super quick, like three or four minute tutorial anyway. So I'll link that below along with the oval hoops because people always ask me about them because I want to say it's like a 10 inch oval. See, once again, eight inch hand. <laughs> so I think it's about a 10 inch um, oval. And I can't remember, I got this off of Etsy and the Etsy designer has a whole bunch of different shows, a whole bunch that she's got the little pixel characters and quotes. And so I will find that and link that below as well. Because as I said, I did Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I did How I Met Your Mother. I think I may have bought Friends and or The Good Place. I think that I haven't done yet, but anyway, super cute. So there we go. And I, where I pulled, I'm gonna show you guys. I trimmed it down and then, you know, just did a little running stitch to pull the excess fabric tight before putting the felt on. And I feel like you can kind of see it. Can you see that? I feel like you can kind of see it through here. So I kind of wish I had put some fusible backing or so like interfacing or something on there, but good enough for government work. Hang it up. Oh. And it's literally hanging on a straight pin. I'm super fancy around here, guys. So there we go. So hopefully that will get joined by some other things. I still haven't gotten a picture hanger to hang my white frame, but I also don't have anything finished to put on it. So eh, in the meantime, we'll just keep the something on my wall. 
but just think guys eventually this is all going to be filled like i'm going to have to like sit like i'll have to move the camera back so you can see all the cross stitch mm -hmm. so but in the meantime like it means i actually have to finish something I actually have to finish things so i better get stitching which is a great segue into what I worked on this week, my works in progress, which is, this is never an exhaustive list of my whips by any means, but this will be just what I worked on this week. And the first thing I always show is Harry Potter book covers and you guys, page finish. So I took it out of the Q-snap. I finished the page last night and I took it out of the Q-snap. I even gave it like not a good ironing job, but a quick little ironing job because it was wrinkled to all heck from the Q-snap. And I left it out because I have to move the Q-snap. I left it out to show you the whole thing. Here we go. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. It's not even it's like it's three fifths of the book and I already have to back up. So there we go. So there's the page I was working on was like this part. So this is three pages. So I'm working at one book at a time. And I didn't bring the whole thing up, so I'm not gonna show you guys the whole pattern, but you've seen it. If you've been here, you've seen it, because I show it all the time. Um, it's by Fox and Teacup Designs. I'm stitching it with all the Call for DMC, which is good, because I don't know if you guys can see, but the fabric is, even with the grind guard, because there's so much excess fabric, it is getting a little dirty, so it's gonna need a good wash, which is fine, because the I gotta wash out the grid lines, because this is, 18 count, easy count, easy grid, easy guide, something. Ada, it's the pre-gridded 18 count Ada. I got it for one, two, three stitch. And I'm doing this with all the call for DMC. So there we go. I want that to be my screen grab. Michelle Bendy said she figured out how to pick your screen grab. I might have to ask her about that because I am so happy. So this pattern guys goes five pages down and then four pages across. And this book, I'm doing it one book at a time. So I'm working on um, Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone for the UK folks. Um, although I am doing the US book covers because these are the books that I have. She does have a pattern for the UK book covers and there's different sizes too. There's like a mini size and this is the um, super size max colors is what I'm working on because I figured it would go big or go home um, on this one. So uh, I'm working at just one book at a time. So this is not actually even a full page when I say page finish. It's kind of a lie because there's 10, 17, 17 or 18 more stitches to this page. But just the way it is because you need like the edge and the H it's one like the slice of the book this slice of the book is the biggest one really because it's four pages across for seven books and this is almost a full page so I hope that made sense did that make sense so three pages down I have two more to go to the bottom of this book and you can see like I didn't cut down this fabric like I bought the size I needed and I didn't cut it down. I think because I had the salvage edge and like, look, I'm masking tape the edges it's because I started this back in March, I think. And I was not, I hadn't truly, truly fallen down the rabbit hole yet and didn't know any better. Like I was taught to masking tape my salvages or my cut edges. And so I didn't want to cut the top. So I didn't, but like, look, I feel like I should now because that's just a lot of excess fabric. I feel like I should cut it and cut the bottom, but I don't know that I will. So there we go. It's going back into the Q-snap. And honestly, sometimes with these page finishes, it feels like a finish. I mean, I'm, I count it actually in my monthly counts. I count a page finish as a finish. It's taking me about two months to do a page. Um, but then I find that when I hit that page finish, it takes me a day or two to get going again. So I, um, I have Bunko tonight. I probably won't stitch on this today. And there's like a lot of homework in my challenge groups. So I'm part of School of Magical Stitches and Literature. 
because Harry Potter and Enchanted Stitching because Disney. And between the two groups, there I feel like there's a lot of very specific tasks this week. Things didn't overlap as much. So I've got like a lot of stitching on other projects to do. So I have a feeling I'm not gonna start working on the next page of this until probably this weekend. I think I'm gonna just take a couple days off before I hit this hard again. So, and that page finish, finished up my 1200 stitches. I actually overshot it a bit because I wasn't, I was so focused on the page finish, I kind of overshot it by a couple hundred stitches. But that got me 1200 for October for full coverage fanatics. So now I'll go back and do April. I think I should be able to catch up and do the whole year. So, I kind of don't want to put that on the floor. We're going to put this over here, I think. I mean, not that it's not already a little dirty and is going to need a good wash, but... but then it covers up my calendar. It's fine. Okay. So what else have I worked on since I last saw you? When I saw you guys last week, I told you I was going to start Cinnamon Stars. I got to find it in my pile. Oh my gosh. Guys, there's a lot of projects to show this week. Not a lot of, not a lot of progress though. So I told you I was going to start Cinnamon Stars, and I did. And I'm thinking that this may get a little more work this week. I don't know for sure, but I think I might slot it in somewhere. So Cinnamon Stars by Plum Street Sampler. And this is my start. I think it was 250 stitches, so it's not a, it's not a lot. It's not a big, amazing start, but there it is. First two little Cinnamon Stars. I can tell I'm going to love this pattern. And I am stitching this on 36 count Old Town Blend by r and r with all the called for, I think it's mostly Gentle Arts and Weeks. There's a lot of colors. It's really fun. Now, and this is a stitch along with Stitching with My Besties. And I think the hashtag is Bestie Cinnamon Stars. So I've been following that hashtag and watching everybody stitch on it. And a lot of people are top left starters like me. I mean, I am if I can be. And so a lot of people have gotten here and the, there's an included alphabet. This is an S, I'm assuming for Stuart. Yes, because it was Paula Stewart. So many people are doing the S that I don't think that their initials are S. I was gonna put an E on there. Or an M. Ooh, maybe I'll do M for McDaniel. That makes better sense. Um, I was gonna do then an M for McDaniel. Is that not right? That was my plan. Do you what do you what what do you do? If there is something like that, you know, like uh, even reproduction samplers. I mean, I think reproductions, you keep the name of the kid who did it, right? I don't know. But something like that that is personalized or sort of personalized, what do you guys do? Do you put in your initials? Do you leave the ones that are on there? I think I'm going to put in them. So that's Cinnamon Stars. It might get a little bit more work this week. And then um, I didn't hardly do life update. It's been a nutty week. We can talk about it later. The, the car does need a new transmission. Wah, wah. And over the weekend, my youngest daughter injured her arm. So we were at the pediatric orthopedist this morning for x-rays, hoping it's not a hairline fracture. And we found mouse activity in the kitchen. <laughs> Exterminator was here yesterday. We get regular service anyway, because we live on like an acre. Um, we have like an acre of kind of, not woods, but there's a lot of nature in the backyard. We get a lot of deer, bunnies, squirrels, bears, moles, and mice. And we had, probably about six years ago, a major infestation in our crawl space and had to have it all cleaned out and new insulation put down and they plugged everything up. And then we've had regular, we have regular service where they put out bait traps. I'm sorry if you guys are offended that I'm killing the mice. I don't want them in my house. They destroy things. So we get like a regular service to make sure that the mice don't get in or any other creepy crawlies that want to come in when it gets cold and wet. So I don't know how this one got in. And I hope that there's not a lot more. 
the exterminator is coming back on Friday to check out our crawl space. But in the meantime, he came out for our regular service and put some traps where we saw the activity. I don't mind him outside. Stay outside. You come in my house, you're fair game. Mm. I feel the same way about spiders. I'm not really scared of spiders. You live your best life, spiders, outside. You come in my house, I step on you. So anyway, it's been a week, guys. It's Wednesday. It feels like it's been the longest week, uh, but it's fine. It's all fine. However, on Sunday, I had a lovely day because it was our very first East Side Stitchy Meetup. We gotta come up with a name for our group, ladies. If you're watching, let's come up with a great name for this group. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm looking up the date for the next one. It was really, really fun. We had seven or, there was like seven or eight of us there. And it was great to meet up in person and get to know people and see what they're stitching on and find out about their lives. It was super, super fun and I'm excited to do it again. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you when the next one is because I already have it on, is it here? Nope. It's the state. Yes, November 10th. Sunday, November 10th from one to five at the Renton Highlands Library. And it was great. It was so fun. And I felt like in the spirit of new Stitchy Meetup group, I was gonna have a new start. And it was also um, Annie Joyfield Stitcher's uh, birthday that day. And she's hosting a birthday sale. Anything that brings you joy. I can't remember what the hashtag is, but I'll put it below. <laughs> And um, so I had a new start. And I started, I think it's called Promise of Spring. They don't put the name on the front of their chart. It's inside and I have it pulled it up weird. But it's Silver Creek Samplers, No Winter Lasts Forever, No Spring Skips Its Turn. I'm pretty sure it's called Promise of Spring. So I started that and like it really just was a start. I have no. <laughs> That's all I have so far. Uh, I am doing this on 18 count Sterling Ada from Picture This Plus, and it's it's kind of a it's a bluish gray. Hmm. Let's see if that is that how? Yeah. It's it's kind of a greenish bluish gray that I thought would be perfect for, you know, winter turning to spring. And I had the ladies at the meetup help me with colors because this calls for onyx, which I didn't have and I wasn't gonna buy an over dyed black, but 310 seemed too stark to me. And then this is oatmeal, which just looked, calls for oatmeal, which just looked kind of like, I don't know, it looked like dirty snow. Which, I mean, I get in spring, if you live in the Midwest, the snow is kind of nasty and dirty come spring. <laughs> but I didn't want it to look like dirty snow. So I think I'm gonna do that in B5200. And this, the lettering I'm doing in Classic Color Works Zach Black is that kind of bluish gray, dark gray. So I like it, and the rest of it will be called for. So, yay, first springtime stitch, winter springtime stitch started. I should maybe start some Christmas since that comes first. But that just, I don't know, I, that came, I really wanted to stitch it. I saw Audrey had started it and I had everything and I decided that day that was gonna bring me joy. <laughs> So that was a start. And then also that day I worked on an extra credit for, you would think that I would be smart enough to put these like in the order I worked in them so I could go top down and they wouldn't slide off the chair. I'm not that smart. Uh, I also worked on uh, Lizzie Kate Tingles. And I worked on this for an extra credit for School of Magical Stitches year six, something with a spider for Aragog, cause there's there's a couple little spiders 
on there. I'm not to them yet, but I to, and I got so close to finishing a block, but I didn't quite, but there it is. Ghosties and ghoulies is almost done. These, I worked on these little trick-or-treaters at the Stitchy Meetup. They don't look like a whole lot of work, but oh my gosh, there's a bunch of little color changes in there and they just took a while. So there we go, I'm really close. I just need to finish off this little border. And I'm gonna use this for another extra credit. Uh, this is gonna get some work this week. I have this slated for something. Oh, for Enchanted Stitching. This is going to be Stitch on Something with costume, clothing or costume, because the little trick-or-treaters aren't costumes. So I'm gonna get a little more work on this, finish out that block, and then start the next one. So, and this is on 18 count. This is also a picture of this plus. I want to say prank. Oh no, it's not 18, it's 14. 14 count prank. Ada by picture of this plus. I love it. I've seen quite a few people doing this on, and it calls for like a tan, and I really love it on the tan. And every time someone posts their like country mocha or whatever, I think, oh, that looks really pretty. Maybe I should have done it on that. And then I get this back out and work on it and decide, nope, I love it on the orange. So that's Tingle. So I worked on those on Sunday along with Harry Potter covers. And then all the new homework and such came out and I started working on that on Monday. So first thing I worked on this week was this. Seriously, guys, I, I'm going to work on eight, nine projects this week. I haven't worked on all of them yet, but i that's what I'm slated to work on. So none of them are getting a ton of stitches, but it's kind of fun to get to put my hands on so many projects, especially because these are ones I would absolutely not have picked up this week if it weren't for all the fun challenge groups. So the first one I worked on that was uh, School Magical Stitches. We're doing all of the memories. It's the Pensieve uh, this week. So we're going back through all the memories that Harry and uh, Dumbledore looked at in the Pensieve. And the first one had to do with casting, I can't remember which spell, but it let off purple sparks. So we had to do 200 stitches in purple. So for that, I'm looking at my projects, I don't have I think this might be the only one that had purple and I thought, oh, is it even gonna have enough purple? It did, but I'm realizing I don't, I don't have a lot of very colorful projects, guys. So I'm working on New York City and this is from the Awesome Pattern Studio. It came in my 2019 cross stitch calendar, but I think they have an Etsy store or a webpage and you can download these, I think. I think as PDFs, don't quote me on that. Uh, but I'll link the calendar below and if I can find the storefront. So New York City. So I was working all this purple down here. And then this also counted for um, enchanted stitching for something you're stitching for a family member or a friend because I'm gonna give this to, uh, when it's done, my middle daughter who wants to go live and work in New York. So there we go. So there's where I am on that. And I just did, as I said, I did all this purple down here. So there we go. 200 stitches in two different colors of purple. I'm not in any hurry to have that done, but it's kind of fun because it does, like it does fit into challenges sometimes. And then it's just kind of fun to pick it up and work on it a little bit. So there's that. Uh, the next one I worked on was for your best piece that would win an award. Um, I chose my, what I consider probably be my best piece it, that would win an award is Quaker Geometric Puzzle. Just cause this feels like very much like this kind of thing would win an award in a fair. And also um, I do want this to look really nice. Like I even railroaded my stitches on this piece. Don't know why. I just, <laughs> I just really like, this felt like, this was my first, I feel like, serious cross-stitch piece. 
Uh, I bought this pattern and kitted it all up at my very first trip to Acorns and Threads in May. And so, I don't know, I feel like this is my very serious cross-stitch piece. And I'll show you where I'm at. So there I am with that, and I added, I had all of this outside done, but I added all of these little leaves, I added this motif and this motif, and started this one here. And I gotta say, it was hard to stop at 200 stitches, because in general, I like to, when I finished this one, I think I was like 189 or 190. Because really, I would have liked to have finished this whole motif, but I stopped myself. So there's a Quaker Geometric Puzzle. This is just a long-term project. <laughs> it's not gonna be done anytime soon, but I really, really love working on it. And that is on a 32 count, just white, even weave, it might be Lugana, does it even say? Yes, Lugana, 32 count white Lugana with the called for DMC. Oh, piece. And then um, for something with a human house on it, I had to stitch on something with a human house. And then I also counted this for um, enchanted stitching for lock, shock, and barrel. We have to stitch in three different colors that match them, and one of them is white. So I did the white stitching on this first and counted how many I did, 45 white stitches. So I'll get to a total of 250. And then I continued on for 200 stitches for something with a human house. And I worked on... November yearbook by Lizzie Kate. Human house and me in this <laughs> October. I gotta get moving. Gotta get this done. So there's that. I did some of the white border, this tree, that tree, and this little leaf. And I decided I've been doing this. This is 28 count flax linen. And I've been using just the call for DMC for this. But I decided that this house, I really did want some variegation. So I ended up using um, Weeks Dye Works Scupper Mom. Scooper Mom? Scupper Mom? This color. Focus. That's the color I used. <laughs> Because it looked pretty close, like part of the variegation in it looked looked pretty close. This was the call. This is the called for DMC. Oh, there it doesn't look close. Trust me, it does in real life. The darker part does. It goes. It's fine. It's fine. I like it. So, November yearbook. I gotta get moving. There's two leaves. There's not a ton left. There's two leaves, there's a couple little diamondy doodads, an acorn with a border, and the rest of this border. Okay, I say it's not much, and then I say that, and it seems like it kind of is, but. If it doesn't, I'm, I'll make it fit into tasks for next week. Somehow. Or I'll just do it. <laughs> Get it done. So. And then I started, um, we need a gift of food. Uh, a memory, one of the memories was Professor Slughorn getting pineapple. And so we have to just say, we have to stitch on something that we would give as a gift of food. And then I'm also going to use some of, there's a little bit of red stitching in this that I'm going to use for one of the other colors for Lock, Shock, and Barrel. And my gift of food, of course, would be cocktails. And I actually do give cocktail boxes as a gift. You know, and you can eat the garnish. So I'm working a little bit on five o'clock for that task, but I just started today. I did it, I was like, I'm not even sure I was gonna show this to you. But I started a little tiny bit of stitching at my youngest dentist appointment today. Seriously, we took her to the pediatric orthopedist and the dentist today. 
and the orthodontist yesterday. Poor kid's been poking prodded to death the past few days. So I'm working on the little shrimp. That's all more I've gotten done. That's it. But I'm still going to show you. Because look, little tiny shrimp. And I don't know, 200 stitches is going to get this so close to a finish that I may just finish it. There's some red stitching in, there's another olive over here. So that's where the red's going to come from. But there's a lime, an olive, and it's. So I don't, I think it might be a little bit more than 200 stitches, but not a lot. So I think I'm just going to finish this. I think it's going to be a finish next week, guys. I don't know that I'll be hanging on the wall yet. But I would say that's been such a fun quick stitch. Oh, I, there's a whole bunch of beading to do too. Okay, I lied. I may not be finished next week. Kind of forgot about the beads. <laughs> it's fine. It's still very, very close. <laughs> All right. So that's everything I worked on this past week. Plans. I have a whole bunch more stuff I'm going to work on. Um, let's see. I'm going to work on, we have to stitch on something that shows a collection that we have. And so I'm going to work on the Love My Stitching project bag because, hello, I collect stitching stuff. And then a cursed project is going to be Be Thankful just because it took me so long to figure out fabric. It took me like three tries to get all the flosses. So I'm going to do Be Thankful. And then one project left that's Joy to Stitch that I haven't decided what that's going to be yet. And I think it might be Cinnamon Stars. It's going to be whatever I decide I really want to stitch at the end of the week. And then um, for Enchanted Stitching, I'm gonna work on the tingles for costume. Um, and for the third color for green, I'm gonna use the welcome sign from The Good Place, the one that says welcome, everything is fine. I'm gonna work on that in green. And then something that flies, is another we have to work on, we have to stitch on the actual thing that flies. And I think I'm finally going to get back to stitching a little bit on the Friends collage because there's the duck and the chick. And then that's also gonna be bonus for um, magical stitches because I think the chick looks fluffy like a pick me puff. And I am, whoo, guys, I'm pushing it. There's two weeks left and I have a lot of bonus extra credit stitching to do. That's why I think uh, Harry Potter covers me take a back seat for a tiny little bit. Tiny little bit. We'll see. So those are my plans for the rest of the week. I need to figure out like November plans. I, I like I haven't really want to start a, a couple. There's a couple winter Christmas projects that I really want to start. So I got to figure out when I'm getting those started. I did not fill out or even look at the acrostic this month for 24 hours of cross stitch. I don't know. I just didn't make October plans. I, I didn't. There's projects that I thought I would have started by now that may not get started till mania. Gobble Bob, I really thought I was gonna start. And Turkey Bay, I thought I was gonna start, but I feel like I need to just jump into winter Christmas stitching now. Hmm. So, all right, FFO, no stitching finishes, whips, plans, haul. I have a little haul this week, guys. <laughs> and there's some more stuff coming that I bought. I bought a couple things literally the day before the car broke down. <laughs> so glad I got those in under the wire because Replacing a transmission, mm, the stitchy spending is going to be curbed. But I had a couple things already in transit. So the first thing I got was my uh, So Much to Love October Project Bag of the Month. So I joined her Bag of the Month Club back in, I think I signed up in July but they had already shipped. And I made a boo-boo when I signed up because when I signed up on her little thing, you can sign up for 12 months, six months, or four months. 
And I was thinking, well, it's already July, so there's only six months left, so I'll sign up for the six months. But when you sign up for six months, you're really getting every other month. So I got August, I didn't get a September bag, and that's when I realized my boo-boo, but I got an October bag. I won't get one in November, but I'll get one in December. It's fine. I've already signed up for next year for all 12 months. <laughs> These guys, look how gorgeous this bag is. The lace, little heart. I'll show you the inside is an orange gingham. I just, I love her bag so much. And then when in the bag of the month, you get like a fun little note. Um, you get a lovely little note from Karen that tells you what's in it and kind of her inspiration because they all have a kind of a theme. And this month we got decaf pumpkin spice tea. Totally going to be drinking that. Maybe with a little whiskey, bourbon? I don't know. We'll zhuzh that up with something. And then candy corn. We also got, look at this cute little like pumpkin. It's a, it's got a little clip on it. So it could be a zipper pull, scissor fob, but it's a floss holder. So cute. I love that. I'm going to use that. And then we also got... A, oh, I'm going to show you an exclusive pattern from um, Amy Birkin, Harvest Moon Frost Soon. And I'm going to hold it up this way so you can't see the pattern. But look how cute that is. The little pumpkins and the moon. And look, there's a little heart. I'm like so much to love. So cute. So got a little pattern and a thread drop and the bags are just amazing. And I, for October, you could pick whether you wanted like a fall harvest bag or Halloween. And I already had a couple Halloween bags, so I chose the harvest bag. And then I think for December, you could choose Christmas, Hanukkah, or winter. And I don't remember when I picked. We'll find out in December. So that came this month. I love that. I'm so excited to be in the club for next year and i i got a survey from her because i think if you were in it this year then you got kind of first dibs on being in it next year um and i don't know how you sign up for it otherwise i do know that if you go to pam and steph's video um just keep stitching they have a link they have information they are way plugged in with Karen and so much to love. And that's where I followed the link to sign up for this year. So go check out their video because I guarantee um, Steph's real good about putting everything in the drop down box and it'll be in their drop down box. Just go watch them. They're fun and they'll have all the information because I don't, I don't have that. So I got that. And then I also got an order I had placed with 123 Stitch. And I placed the order because I decided it was time to buy. I'm glad I did because car. Um, I was ordering the fabric for Farewell to Anger because I'm getting all kitted up. I still need a project bag, which I think I'll probably get a um, another great big uh, bag from Garon Toten Bags because I love their bags and they make a big size that fits that like will fit like that much floss. The one I use for Harry Potter book covers holds the eight by eleven Q snap with like all the excess fabric plus a whole floss box plus like all the pattern. So that's probably what I'll get. And I need I think I might need another grime guard for that size of Q-snap. So I might even actually need another Q-snap. I need to check. We're accumulating all the stuff for Farewell Tanger. So fabric for that, it's the 25 count easy count grid Lugana. And I needed 27 by 36. And I'm probably actually cut this. If there's excess, I'll probably cut it. But guys, seriously, look, it's so big. You can't even see me. That's gonna be a big piece. <laughs> so I decided it was time to order that fabric. Um, since I had, 
since I've been just slowly accumulating stuff for Farewell to Anger, I decided it was time to get that. And I also wanted to get fabric for the um, uh, Martini Witches pattern. So I picked out a 32 count Stormy Night Belfast Linen. I think it's just one of Zweigart's colors. I don't think it's an overdyed. I think this is just a Swigart color, but I think that'll be great for the Martini Witches, which I think it's going to be my Halloween start. I'm going to start that on Halloween. And then I, I can't help myself. Whenever I place an order on 123Stitch, I go to my wish list, and then I kind of scroll looking to see if any of it's on sale. Like, I just scroll down the wish list. It's in red, on sale now. And this pattern was on sale, and I just had to get it because I'm apparently into stitches about rain right now. So it's um, Little House Needleworks, The Rain Fell. So I got this one. And it says, the rain fell, the flowers grew, gray skies faded into blue. I love that little girl with her umbrella and the flowers and the rain. So, this, I don't know, I might start this in January. But so I picked up a couple fabrics. One, I got a few of the flosses for it, the ones that I didn't have. It calls for some DNC and some classic color works. So I got the classic color works that I didn't have, which was House Wine, Desert Mesquite, Bramble Bush, and Milady's Teal. So there's those. And then I think it called for a couple others that I have, maybe. Black Coffee, Black Coffee I have, and some DMC. So, and then I couldn't decide on fabric, so I got two different pieces of fabric. You guys tell me what you think. I got a 32 count vintage smoky white Belfast, and that, I don't know if you can really see. It's got a really nice kind of like gray, grayish taupe to it that I thought looked, you know, like gray skies. And then I also got, because it talks about gray skies turning blue, I got 32 count Ariel Belfast Linen Picture This Plus. So there's blue. And this blue, I think it, well, maybe it will show up. It, I thought in person maybe it was not dark enough. Because uh, I'm going to assume that's the words and her dress. I could do the words in a darker blue, maybe, and just do this in her dress. What do you guys think? Blue or smoky gray? Vintage smoky gray or blue for a rain fell? Because it talks about gray skies faded into blue. So what do we think? Tell me. Tell me your thoughts. I don't know when I'll start this. Maybe January. Maybe that'll be a January start, but it was on sale. And then this was not on sale, but I just had to have it. I want this, I will stitch someday. Someday in my life, I am going to stitch this chart and I just decided it was time to own it in a forest grew. I think uh, when I saw Amy's, Amy Loves Toads, she showed her like framed finish of this several months ago. And I, I died, it's so gorgeous. And I can't remember if she put a different verse in here. I'm gonna change the verse. Um, I'll keep that one. But I know lots of people have charted different verses for in here, but I just, uh, it's so gorgeous. All those trees all those greens and there's a bunch of i don't know if people talk about this there's a bunch of bonus charts in the back of this so it's that chart plus there's um a needle book a pin keep a scissor fob and there's mini samplers that aren't even i don't even think they show them anywhere finished in here maybe that's why nobody talks about them because maybe nobody does them because they're stitching this bad boy and 
but there's really there's a fruit trees ones that says he that plants trees loves other besides himself which is actually on the bigger sampler there's a mini fancy tree there's a mini forest animal sampler there's some good minis in here too that i could maybe do one of the minis because this i don't i don't know when i'll do this after harry potter book covers and after i don't know maybe not after farewell to anger that one's going to take a long time but i mean or maybe i just started and just work one tree at a time little bit by little bit i'm not, I'm not gonna buy the fabric for a while because <laughs> it's gonna be a big piece of fabric and i feel like i need scroll rods or something i, I feel like i need to be a real stitcher with a frame and scroll rods can i stitch something this big in hand I don't, I don't love the idea of a big stand in front of me and like, I just love to kick back.